Hello guys, this is Hilary from Scrappy Mommy and I'm back to share another photo for you with you. This is a custom order I got from my Instagram account from Miss Elizabeth. Um, she's from California and she's a very very nice lady. And she saw the travel album that Miss Penny bought from me and she loved the album so she asked me if I can make a photo folio album for her. So she wanted an album where she can keep her grandchildren photos and maybe photos of her with her grandchildren and she wanted a part on the album that where she can place the photos for her granddaughters and a part where she can place photos of her grandsons and then a part in the album where she can um, place both for boys and girls so this is what I came up with and I used the design from Photofolio Photofolios 2 series tutorial by Kathy Orta of Paper Phenomenon and this is style number one and I used um, three paper collection for this I use the Jack and Jill paper collection from Echo Park. And this is for the girl. And this is for the boy. And I also use another paper collection also from Echo Park. Um, Capture Life. So, um... I use three paper collection from this and I used black suit distress ink from Ranger to ink the edges of the paper. So um, the paper collection is a 12 by 12 kit with um, the stickers and some cut apart. So it's a 12 by 12 kit. So on the cover, oh, um, this album measures 9 by 11. And then I use craft text for the closure and also the spine. So on this cover, um, there is a packet envelope on the front. So this one opens up like this. And the paper I used on this cover is from the Capture Life paper collection. So on this um, part, this is a black cardstock that I used my um, notebook binding punch from EK Success. I used this one here on both sides. And then I just um, adhere the bottom so I can insert these two pieces. This is a 2x2 a two two cut apart from the collection. Also from the Capture Life. And it says Moments Captured. And this is a sticker that I backed with um, white cardstock. And I just fussy cut it. So I can insert it here and then this is a sticker of two hearts that I just layered. And then I just mat this under and this one opens up. And there's a large tag in here. This is a 8x6 um, tag and she can place some photos of her with her grandchildren here and then she can journal here or put another photo also here she can journal and at the back she can place a large photo and I use also my notebook um, edge punch here and then I just place a strip of pattern paper there so this one goes inside 
and this album opens up like this I did so much decorating on this album and I really love the way this one turned out I hope she will like this so the, I use Craftex for the spine so it's okay to fold this one and also for the closure it's okay to fold it backwards so on this part first I'll show you this part so um, this um, part is for the girl I use the this is the gel part so this is the paper collection that I use there and this one has a closure and I mat this with a pattern paper and then I put a sticker over it and it says captured moment and um, this is a 3x4 cut apart that I just fussy cut and I um, adhere it on the side and then I place inside this 3x4 cut aparts also and I just cut it down so she can journal on this and then here I just mat this and so she can journal here or if she want she wanted she wants to place a photo she can do so so this opens up like this and there are two side packets and each packet has a tag or photo mat so here is a photo mat this is a sticker and I place it there on the top and this is also a sticker a border sticker and at the back I just leave it plain if she wanted to journal in here she can and I just place a sticker here and I use the um, tag topper I used a tag topper on my um, photo mats or tags and Kathy Orta also has a tutorial on how to make this uh, tag topper I didn't mat my tag topper I just uh, used my stickers so this one goes in here and another photo mat she can place a photo here and this is also a sticker border and also a sticker says sweetest thing and then and then at the back I didn't mat this so she can journal here or place another photo if she want and this is also a sticker says adorable so this one opens up like this and this is a photo mat so she can place a large photo here of her granddaughters and this is um five by seven for five by seven photos on the front and on the back on the front and on the back she can place uh, five by seven photos there and this side also has side packets and each packet has a photo mat or tag and this one I placed this um, sticker it says sweet and then she can place a photo here and I just leave the back plain so she can journal or place another photo and then on the other pocket I place the sticker here heart so when when I place it here it says sweetheart and then she can place a photo here another photo here or journal and on this side she can place a photo here or she can journal and here is a border that I this is a border from the paper collection that I just fussy cut and I made it 
like as a banner so she can place a photo here she can slide it inside I just add here the top and here this is a 3 by 4 cut apart that I fussy cut and cut into ha uh, half it says lovely and I just add here the bottom and place these two inserts this is a small tag where she can journal and here she can journal here and at the back this is a 4 by 6 cut apart that I fold into half and then on the inside she can place uh, two photos and here there are um, two flaps here she can place um, 4 by 6 photo and here she can journal another photo and another spot for journaling and then on this side is a stock packet which has um, three inserts uh, photo mats this is the first tag and she can also place here um, four by six photos so I mat both sides she can place two pictures in one tag or she can place two smaller photos and I just use the stickers here and a strip of pattern paper here so there's one and there's another one two photos and I just use my sticker also here and then another one so this one has um, she has uh, another stock packet which um, go all the way through the bottom but this one has a stopper so it holds only four by six photos each packet so this I also use the sticker it says one of a kind and she can place a photo here and here and here um, this is a sticker that I backed with a white card stock and I just fussy cut it and ink the edges and then I just adhere the bottom and I place this small photo mat where she can place two photos or she can journal and then she can place another photo here that she can insert and here I just layered this um, this is a black cardstock that I used my um, notebook edge punch or binding punch here and then I place this sticker love you so that's the, that's the page this is the girl part it closes like this and at the back um, there's a large packet and here I place a photo mat she can place a photo here and I piece this two pattern paper together so this is different Dif this is different papers um, these are different papers I mean sorry and then I made a large tag or photo mat and I use also the notebook punch and then I place a sticker here it says love your smile and at the back I place another sticker of a flower so she can place a photo or journal or she can place here anything she wants and in here I love this page I piece this um, two pattern paper together and then this is a border that I fussy cut 
and I just adhere the bottom so I can insert these two pieces this is a photo mat where she can place another photos and here she can journal and place a photo at the back so that is the jill part and on this page this page is the jack part the boy part and I use this paper collection also comes with the stickers and 3x4 and 4x6 cut aparts so on this page um, I layered some pieces and pieced together some pattern paper and I placed this is from the 4x6 um, cut apart that I fussy cut and just um, adhere the bottom and on the right side so I can insert these two pieces these two photo mats where she can place another photos or she can journal and here this is a sticker that I backed with um, black card stock and just adhere the bottom and the side the right side and this I this is a white card stock that I just used my um, notebook punch and I placed there a sticker banner it says it's all good and I just inserted it here and then so this um this part is the same as the girl part so on this um, page this is a sticker a camera that I um, backed with cardstock and I just adhere the bottom oops sorry one moment Uh, I just adhere the bottom so I can insert these two pieces and this is a film strip um, it's a border from the paper collection but I fussy cut it and so she can place um, three small photos here and this is a 3x4 cut apart from the 3x4 cut apart and it says we didn't realize we were making memories we just thought we were having fun and she can place another photo at the back and she can journal here or she can place a photo and this is also a border that I fussy cut and made it as a banner and I just adhere the top so she can insert a photo here or whatever she wants and this has a closure and I just mat, uh, mat it under and then I place a sticker here it says adventure so this one opens up like this and has um, also two packets and each packet has a photo mat and I use, just used uh, the strip of pattern paper there and place a sticker it says dream big and here she can place a photo also at the back and just use a sticker here sky is the limit and another photo mat the same as the other one so this one opens up like this and this one ha also has um, five by seven photo mats, so she can um, place photos here on the front and back. And I forgot to tell you on my white um, photo mats, 
for the girls for the girl part I used um, big raspberry distressed ink to um, ink the edges of the photo mats the white photo mats just to add a little bit of color and then for the boys for the boy part I used um, oops I cannot read it uh, wait uh, salty ocean distressed ink for the boy part and all my closures have magnets and I use basic gray magnets so um, this also has a also has um, two packets and each packet has a photo mat where she can place photos or she can draw another box and I just um, this is a border sticker I use that there and here this is a 3 by 4 cut apart that I fussy cut and cut in cut this shape and I just add here the bottom so I can insert these pieces here this is from the paper I cut fussy cut this one it says adventurous and this is a 3 by 4 she can place photo and she can journal this is also a 3 by 4 where she can journal or place a photo and on this side there are two flaps which can hold four photos and then another um, stack packet and each packet has a photo mat where she can place um, four by six photos of her grandsons and I also use these stickers here and at the back is the other photo mat And on this part, I did the same. I did the same thing on the girl part. This is a sticker that I backed with a white card cardstock that I fussy cut and ink the edge, ink the edges. And I insert this, inserted this um, photo mat where she can place smaller photos. This one can hold four photos. So it goes in here and also the, this um, piece that I use my notebook edge punch and then I place a sticker here that says my boy. So it closes like this, it has magnet and at the back um, I just mat this and here I pieced um, two different pattern paper and here she can journal and I place a large um, tag or photo mat she can place a photo here or she can journal and this is a sticker it says boys this way and then at the back another spot for photo or journaling and here is a sticker and it says there's this boy and he stole my heart and another sticker here says memories so that's the girl and boy part and on this um, the next part is for um, where she can place both photos of her grandsons or grand granddaughter or her photos with her 
grandsons and granddaughters. So on this um, flap, this is a flap, and she can place a, I think this is 4 by 6. Ah, 5 by 7. This is a 5 by 7 photo she can place here. And this is a sticker that I backed with uh, cardstock. And I just fussy cut it. It says love. And then I insert this um, 3 by 4 cut apart. It says life is beautiful so she can journal here or place a small photo and journal here and she can place another photo at the back and I love this paper it says life is beautiful on the back just a photo mat and another two flaps which can hold four photos and I just mat this part if she wanted to journal here she can journal so from this part I used the, um, the capture life paper collection so this I just mat this with the pattern paper and this one also has a closure that I mat and put a sticker that says capture life and opens like this and this one has a side pocket and I place this um, 3 by 4 cut apart and this is a sticker it says great times and on this 3 by 4 love this and I mat the inside and I place an insert um, this is a black cardstock that I just use my binding punch and then I place a sticker that says today so she can journal here or place smaller photos and then this part has four flaps and um, which can hold um, eight photos this one can hold eight photos here at the front and back and on the right side also has a packet side packet and I didn't um, put any inserts because if she wanted to put anything here she can place anything here and this is a sticker it says love this photo and this is a 3 by 4 and she can place a small photo here and she can place the date or write the date then there that's that part and closes like this and on this part I piece this together this is um, these two are different or this is a pattern paper and this is a 4 by 6 cut apart and it says today so she can journal here or place smaller photos on the bottom and on the top and this also is a stack packet that holds three photo mats or tags and here she can place a photo so these are the photo mats I use this sticker it's a heart that says happy moments and at the back another tag smile and sweet and a heart and yeah a sticker so that's the first uh, the left side and then on this part the right side uh, so 
on this part, on the right side, there are envelopes and there's a belly band here when you can insert this flap. So, I just mat this one. And then here, there are four photo mats where she can place four more photos or she can journal. And I just place a um, clip here. This envelopes have magnets but I just uh, place a clip so I won't go all over the place so there are four envelopes here and I place a brad here so it's like so you can slide it like this it's like a swing envelopes There are four, three and four. So she can place here inside, she can place um, photos or um, if her um, grandchildren gave her artworks, she can place it here or um, cards or letters. She can place it here. And I just mat the back with pattern paper. So this one goes in here. And then on this side are photo mats. Um, it's like um, cascading photo mats. So on this side, this is a sticker, um, it says happiness is being with you and I adhere it on a cardstock that I mat with pattern paper and I use my EK Success 2 inch, two inches punch for this circle. And this one opens up like this and she can place another photo here or she can journal and here she can place another photo also here another photo or journal and here are um, six by four ah four by six, six by four photos on landscape these are all photo mats and this is a 4x6 um, cut apart and I cut this banner so she can insert a photo here like this And on the back, just a pattern paper. So she can also place photos there if she wants. And um, I will tell her that she should leave um, this space for the pattern paper. And place a smaller photo. So here are the portrait for the portrait photos also four by sixes all our photo mats so I made this um, girl boy girl boy and so on so that's it this is the album and I will call this Jack and Jill photo for you and this is the back and I hope she will like this and I will ship this tomorrow and I have three more albums to finish two are custom orders and one is that I've been making for my daughter so see you on my next video bye